coming to take me away. Ha 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 ha. They're coming to take me away. So as many of you know, we're getting ready to move. But I wasn't expecting this when I got home. I come in the house. All our stuff's gone already. <laughs> it's all packed up. Temporary table, because well, Miss Tina over here decides she's gonna sell everything in the house before I get home. It ain't nailed down, it's gone. We're getting ready to leave the house this morning. Got out of the shower. I'm talking like our bed frame's gone. Because we're gonna buy all new furniture. Uh, bed frame's gone, mattresses <laughs> on the floor like old school, like college days. I'm trying to find somewhere to put my socks and shoes on this morning. The kitchen chairs are gone. <laughs> the bed's gone. Nothing to sit on. Uh, props to the missus, though. She's getting it all packed up while I'm out working. But, uh, crazy. Hard. Busy. Lots to do. Look at all this paperwork. Coming to take me away, ha 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 ha! They're coming to take me away. <sighs> what a chore! Moving, yay! It's fun and exciting. In case y'all didn't know, moving sucks. It's not the only one. We had the moving guys here yesterday. They got a 26 foot truck packed top to bottom, front to back. So we were gonna put the rest of it in this little trailer here and uh, get out of here early in the morning. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon. I don't know. Oh well. Didn't want to drive through the night with all this and the animals and dogs and cats and kids and stuff. But it looks like we're going to have to. We're leaving our grill if anybody wants one. It'll be there. So we'll check back in. And this has been a long, drawn out process. Here's the new house. There's one of the youngsters. Let's see if we can give you a little view. There's the barn, little barn. American flag already flying, still here. Across the street, corn. Anybody need some corn? Look at that sky. Oh, there, that's better. I guess I could have done that a long time ago. But we're just waiting on the movers to get here with the rest of our stuff. Right now, we don't have anything to sit on at all. Going to try and go do some shopping today and get some uh, furniture. Another kiddo. Oh. Milo checking things out. That is one big tree right there. You're gonna have to get a tree guy out here. Our power line, if you can see it right here. Power pole. And our power line runs right through the middle of those trees. So, you're gonna have to get a tree guy out here to work on that. But, just a quick update. Got here at like 3 a.m. the other morning. We didn't get out of town from the old house to about 5.30 in the afternoon. Drove through the night, which is probably good with, with the dogs, but man, it was tiring. Quick note, see that little shed right here? <laughs> Came out here to do the home inspection. Oh yeah, that thing's covered up. Right in the corner of that door. Right there. I opened that door. I was peeking in there and checking things out. Yeah, there's a wasp nest or a hornet nest or something right there that I didn't see because I just opened the door and stuck my head in there like an idiot. And uh, 
and one zapped me. Bow, right there in the forehead. Milo, come on. Milo. He's trying to, he's checking out the underneath of the gate. He can get out of there. We don't want that. What are you eating grass for, dude? Come on. There you go. Let's go that way. But, uh, yeah. So far, so good. The house looks good. Floor's a little rough to sleep on because, you know, it's a floor. We left our... We sold our bed and stuff and our mattress. We need a new mattress, so we just got rid of that. And, uh... Anyway, we'll keep this short. It was just a quick update. Uh... Big shout out to GP. They've given me a couple of weeks off. Of course, it's unpaid because I've already used up my vacation, but they were super cool. And I was like, yeah, whatever you need, you know? So, I've got some, uh, a little bit of cleaning up to do around the property. They've got it, it's grown up out there in the little pastures or whatever, but overall, we're good so far. And that's it for now. We're just tired and tried to recover, so I gotta take this U-Haul trailer back and then maybe the movers will be here tomorrow morning to get the rest of the stuff. Well, say, say hi to YouTube. No. No? I have a question to ask. <laughs> That's the update for now. We'll see you guys later. Chuck finally made it. Mm -mm, don't you get it? She's gonna get in it. I want to see what she... Uh -uh. Excuse me, miss. What do you no. think of your new house? I love it. Huh? It's great. I love it. It's beautiful. Why, why are you facing the wrong way? Huh. Well, Chuck finally got here. There's the house. Stuff's going in. Still got to get the furniture. But at least we got something to sit on now. Uh, there's the update. What's up, guys? We are finally back to work. Um, <clears throat> well, sort of. I'm in my truck. I'm at headquarters, headquarters, headquarters. I'm at the terminal. First of all, big, huge shout out to GP. They have been awesome throughout this move, and I ended up needing an extra week off. Um, to wait on uh, some of the utilities to be hooked up and things like that and tags and license and all that good stuff that you got to change over when you move out of state um <clears throat> called them up it's like hey uh, it's holiday weekend so i know things are gonna be a little slow over monday i said people are supposed to be here tuesday and um you know, I, I think I need some more time. Is that going to be an issue? And they're like, no, take all the time you need. You know, it's a big move moving across the, you know, as far as you moved. So take what you need, you know, and we'll, we'll see you on Monday if you want to, well, the rest of the week or whatever. I was like, okay, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. So uh, I did that. They've been awesome through the whole thing. I appreciate it tremendously. You guys have been great. Uh, with that said, <laughs> quick story. Uh, the direct TV guy was supposed to be there Tuesday to hook up uh, our, our direct TV, which we already had direct TV. We just uh, we're moving it. I called them before the move, which was August 23rd, 24th. I don't know. Um, so they had like two weeks or so to uh, get somebody out there. Yeah, they never showed up. They were supposed to be there between eight and noon and about a quarter to noon I got a call or a text message rather wasn't even a call wasn't even the common courtesy of a call uh they said they weren't gonna be able to make it by noon so I figured you know big deal you know they'll be here between one and four I'm already here uh about five to twelve I get another text message saying they're not gonna make it at all and I needed to reschedule uh or press one to reschedule so I pressed one because I was gonna find out and I was gonna get on the phone with somebody find out hey what's the deal why is nobody here uh why did they cancel or what's going on so I press one, I'm on hold, and then uh, I get hung up on. Great. So that is uh, super annoying, of course, with all the stress of moving anyway. And uh, so I call 
AT&T, DirecTV, whatever you want to call them, they're affiliated. I must have been on the phone probably two and a half, three hours that day, just trying to find out what was going on to ultimately be told, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any techs in the area. And in my mind, I'm like, you had two damn weeks to get a tech in the area. What is the holdup? What is the, I mean, I know things come up in installations and stuff like that. So if it's going to be delayed, that's fine. But they give me that. There's no techs in the area. We should be able to get to you on the 24th. I'm like, 24th? It's the 1st or 3rd or no, the 7th. It's the 7th. What do you mean to 24th? You already had two weeks to get here. So I told him, uh, I went ahead and that, that's as far as I could get. They said they couldn't reschedule yet. They were going to have the schedulers call me or the text, text to call me uh, to schedule it. So I commenced to call a dish and uh, arrange for dish to set it up. Now, I don't know about dish. I've never had dish. I've had direct TV for about 11 years. Uh, I like the service. The customer service is terrible. But, <clears throat> so anyway, I called them. I was like, well, screw it. I'll just set it up with them. Whoever gets here first gets the business. Uh, a couple days later, I get a call, and they tell me, uh, yeah, we should be able to get there Friday between 8 and noon. I'm like, all right, well, just so you know, I've already called Dish. So whoever gets here first gets the, gets the business. Friday rolls around. They're supposed to be there between 8 and noon. The exact same thing happens. They don't come. They don't show up. They cancel the appointment. You can press one to reschedule. Livid, I tell you. I mean, just pissed. Um, so, since they're affiliated with AT&T, I have decided that, you know what? It's good. I'm going to move my DirecTV. I'm going to move all my phones. I'm going to move everything to Verizon and then get Dish. So, hey, here's where I need you guys to help me out. Verizon, AT&T. Who has the better phone service? I know at and service has been pretty good for me for pretty much everywhere we go. How's Verizon? Leave it in the comments and let me know if you've got Verizon, how, how, how the service works. Uh, Tiny, I don't know if you watch this, but I know you had Verizon at one point and at and now or the other way around. I'm not sure which, but uh, somebody let me know. Also, if you've had DirecTV and Dish, let me know which one of those is better in your opinion. Um, Ultimately, they finally called back a couple days later and said they would be, they'd be out there on the, uh, let's see, Dish is supposed to be there the 15th. Said they'd be there the 17th. So once again, I told them the same thing. I said, you know what? I've got Dish on the way out here. Uh, they'll be here the 15th. So whoever gets here first gets my business. I'm not going to play that game anymore. So I, I hate that crap. It's like, if you tell me you're going to be here, be here. That's the way I live my life. I say, I'm going to be somewhere. I'm going to be somewhere. But anyway, I know this video is getting long. I meant to do more uh, recording throughout the move, but there was just so many moving parts and so much stuff going on that I just didn't do it. Um, so I'm just going to put this, this quick video together and throw it out there and see what sticks. But the main thing, like I said, if you have Verizon, if you have had Verizon and or AT&T, let me know how your service is, especially if you're out there on the road. Um, the reason I have to go with direct TV or dish is because, uh, as you can see from the previous, I live out in the middle of the country in the middle of nowhere. So we can't get normal internet. So streaming is kind of out of the question. Otherwise I would ditch everybody and just do that. Uh, oh, that was the other thing. I've got a little hotspot box that I use for rural internet for AT&T. And since my direct TV wasn't there, we streamed a few things and they throttled the shit out of me. So I could barely even go to a website at that point. So yeah, pretty hot about that as well. It's an unlimited plan and they've never throttled me, but <sighs> just one thing after another with that stuff. But AT&T, Verizon, which is better? Direct TV, Dish, which is better? Leave it in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's been a while, uh, but I am back on the road now, so I'm going to try and get some videos out. Again, thank you, GP, for being so gracious to allow me to have all the time off and not pulling my stuff out of my truck like some companies would do. Uh, you guys have been awesome. I appreciate it. Special thanks to the subscribers. Appreciate you guys subscribing and watching. If it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications. That way you get notified when I do a video or upload a video. And I appreciate you guys watching. In the meantime, you guys be safe. Take care. And we will see you soon.